Hey everybody, welcome to another video showcasing the new stuff on the new patch. In this video, I'm gonna be going over all of the potion changes, looking at all of the new potions and the reworks to some of the old ones. Okay, so starting us off, we have the gathering potions. So new gathering potions, these ones will give you gathering speed and yield both for fishing and for gathering uh, for a certain amount of time. Actually, that time matching the cooldown of the potion. So whenever you drink this potion, you basically get a buff to all your gathering and that buff lasts the exact same length as the cooldown is. So if you just chug these potions on cooldown, you could constantly have this pretty significant buff to speed and yield if you wanted to. However, that'd be quite expensive. Uh, so basically these are going to be used for whenever you're gathering a high tier resource you're probably going to chug one of these potions or maybe the low tier ones will be super cheap and you can just permanently chug them we'll have to see but basically just a potion for gathering next on our list we have the cleansing potion cleansing potion cleanses you of all damage over time crowd control and debuff effects when you cast it and grants you immunity to all specifically crowd control effects after that for a certain amount of time about like 3.3 seconds on a flat 7 one this has a very long cooldown at two minutes but obviously an extremely strong spell being able to cleanse you of literally everything also, obviously important to note, as a cleansing potion, it can be used while you're stunned or silenced or whatever, so you can always use it and it'll just cleanse you of everything. Next on the list, we have Tornado in a Bottle, or probably more commonly going to be called the Whirlwind Potion. Basically, you throw out a potion at a ground target AoE, and it releases this little Whirlwind thing, which will knock any enemies back that try to walk into it. This one was teased in uh, one of the trailers, so it's just basically a little bit of a knockback to anything that touches it. You can lock down chokes and stuff. However, if you throw one in a nearby radius, 15 meter radius, around where an ally threw one, um, it will dissolve the ally tornadoes. So you can't like spam a bunch of these in a giant line or something and completely disengage with them. Similar to the cleansing potion, this one also has quite a long cooldown at two minutes base. Next on the list, we have the Hellfire Potions, and Hellfire Potions are essentially just a demon cape, except attached to a potion that you can throw, and they do true damage. So deal some true damage to players, or almost double that true damage to mobs every 0.5 seconds. And again, throwing a potion will dissolve all ally puddles within an 8 meter radius around your puddle, so you can't throw a bunch of Hellfire Potions all at once and have them stack. Next on our list, we have the Acid Potions. The Acid Potions uh, throw an AoE on the ground, very similar to the Hellfire Potions, except instead of dealing true damage, they decrease the damage resistances of up to 10 enemies uh, by a sort of a medium amount. Not a big pierce, not a super small one either. Um, so not, yeah, sort of a medium pierce for five seconds. Um, so basically just a pierce potion with a slightly bigger AoE, I would say, than the Hellfire one. Next on our list, we have the Berserk Potion. These increase all your damage for five seconds, but also decrease your defense by a little bit less uh, for the same duration. Uh, so sort of like a Royal Sandals buff without the move speed. Uh, they're basically just gonna make you deal more damage, but also be squishier for about five seconds. So those Galatine, suicidal Galatine parries running into you and doing a bunch of damage are gonna do even more damage now. Next on our list, we have the Calming Potions. The Calming Potions turn you and up to 20 group members, so an entire party within 15 meter radius around you, invisible to mobs. Not invisible, but specifically invisible to mobs. They won't aggro you for a certain amount of time, looks about six seconds on the tier seven ones. It also applies a small shield to all the players as well. Uh, so basically this one is very clearly just your anti-ratting potion. Uh, it just, if there's one little rat in the static dungeon, you just can use some of these potions to help drop mob aggro when he tries to push your teammates into it and stuff. Honestly, if an entire party of famed farmers runs this, uh, rats are basically gonna be helpless. Moving on to old potions, now there's two old potions that were reworked, the energy potions and the poison potions, and then some other ones uh, had their values changed, uh, but the ones with the reworks are energy and poison. So starting with our energy potion, this one still gives you max energy when you drink it, but then it also restores some max energy over time, about half the amount that it originally restores over seven seconds, and it increases your cooldown rate during that time as well, which is 
a, a quite a big amount as well. So that, honestly, this one seems um, to be a lot better and a lot more usable now, especially in things like PVP. So you can see I can drink it, restore some energy, and then it also makes my cooldowns come up much faster. The other slightly reworked potion was the poison potion. Basically, they removed the resistance penetration that it uh, originally had. Uh, and then put that on the poison potion or the acid potion instead sorry and then the poison potion now you have a really mini slow whenever they get hit during the the poison potion so whenever an enemy affected by the poison patient takes direct damage they'll be slowed by about 40 percent here for tier 8 for 0 0.2 seconds so very very uh, short duration slow uh, but it does slow them quite significantly for that time and does not trigger effects normally triggered by damage so that would be things like, uh, say, the Mercenary Jack. If you pop a Mercenary Jack and then throw a Poison Potion, similar to how it was, I think they just added the text and now to make it more clear, you'll not get that healing. In terms of potions that were unchanged or just had their values changed a little bit, we have the Sticky Potion, still the same as it used to be, slows, reduces damage, and reveals. Invisibility Potion just makes you invisible. Resistance Potion just increases your resistances and cloud control resistances, and Gigantify is still just max load, max health, and immune to force movement effects. The last thing that they changed with uh, how potions work is they changed how you upgrade them and you can see now that you can upgrade these things all the way up to 0.3 and the resource that you use to upgrade them is these like animal extracts and arcane extracts that you get from tracking. Um, and I'll be talking about tracking more in a later video so if you want to learn more about that uh, you can go to that video. For reference, these enchantments work very similar to how um, like gear enchantments work. So if we look at a tier 6.2 poison potion compared to a tier 8 poison potion, they actually have the same values. So 6.2 does 360 true damage versus players, and tier 8 also does 360 true damage versus players. Uh, so basically 6.2 potions are going to be the same as tier 8 potions, or 5.2 is 7. Um, and then you can also get potions all the way up to like 8.3. Just a note on some of the ones that you can buff, like invisibility potions. Uh, invisibility potions have like a built-in sort of debuff to them to make you not be able to do damage fully right after it. That uh, debuff duration scales with the tier as well. So you can see 9.3 invisible, but 10.3 damage reduction versus the flawed aid is a seven seconds invisible and eight seconds damage reduction. Okay, so that is all of the new potions and the reworked potions coming in the next patch. Let me know what you guys think of them, what combos you're going to be using with them and stuff like that, and I'll see you in the next one. Right.